Okay, oh, we're recording. That's, that's awesome. She's got teardrop lights. Part two. What are teardrop lights? You know, like a teardrop uh, tra trailer. No, you're kidding me. I didn't even know they make them. Okay, don't tell me that. Now I'm going to be on the hunt. Link, please. E.T. I hear Gabby. Is she yawning? Oh, that was the other thing I had to go because Oliver Oliver was waiting patiently at the door for me. When I got going to get her puppy bagels from Einstein's in a couple minutes. Aw. Cute. Okay, so door done and the window's done and just gonna glue these on like this to the house. Oh wait, I forgot. I want to put the little metal. Um, where are they? Here they are. So I use these little. Um, what are they called? I don't even know what they're called. Let's see. Uh, frames and something. Frames and trim. You know, I come to the conclusion that there are really okay, but. When Seven Gypsy was doing all the metal, that gave you an option, but like no one does, no one really does the metal out there. I think Graphic 45 is coming out with some new ones, but um, like I really kind of looked for other, not that I was out looking, like looking for other options, but there really isn't anybody out there making, doing metal stuff, except for like Tim right now. So I'm going to just, I wanted to add a little metal uh, trim to my door. And sometimes your projects, when you, you they just need metal on them. <laughs> just saying. They just need a little bit of metal on them. These are really cool because we uh, use the alcohol ink on them. You can use alcohol inks on this, on the trim, FYI, to color them. Eileen's having filet mignon for Christmas dinner. Sounds delicious. Oh, Linda White Holloway's in here. I didn't, when did you come in? When I was out with the dog? know what I'm going to make for dinner for Christmas. My mom's going to be here. And I haven't really decided what I want to make, what I want to have for dinner. I need some ideas. I could, I have a set it and forget it. So I thought about, I could do like a, a standing, like a rib roast or I could, hey, I could hey, do, Jonna, do you have our picture handy that she did? Uh, yep, it's right here on my wall. Show, show everybody. Okay. But she couldn't show, Jonna couldn't show it because Linda made me one. And it was a complete and total surprise. And I cried. I got major hay fever. Isn't this adorable? I oh. see how much work went into this. It was just like, aww. It was a lot of work. She did, like, everything's like pop dotted up and painted trees and painted the background and you know who's gonna want this is uh well she can't have the scrappy camper so she's not gonna want scrappy camper sisters on it I know. but diana diana would want this because the tears are that adorable and she made me one too i cried i admit it I isn't mean, it when you look at the detail and the effort she put into that yeah i'm, I'm gonna use it on my table for my sign 
Well, I have it in here on the wall, but it hangs in the camp. I'm hanging it in the camper. Yeah. So cute. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Mom, mom, yes. Mom. I love she it. Just, she's been selling her art, just so you guys know, in a gallery where she lives in Canada. And she has a Facebook page. And um, she had an opening yesterday. She Was it this weekend? Was it last weekend? When was that, Linda? She had a show at the gallery and uh, made some sales there. So we're so proud of her. And she's yes. so talented. Yes. i got to get the link to her. I'll get the link to her Facebook page. How's that? That'd be good. Oh, I better mute while I'm typing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot to make a sign that says mute when you type. Okay, so my windows. Let's put the windows on. And the door. And I'm just gonna use some glossy accents, go around the edge. And I'm only using glossy accents just because I have it, I have it open. So I put my door down. Hold that door down. I gotta glue these down on there. I think I won't use glossy accents because I have to hold it for a while. Well, that's what we're here for. To get you need to you need to encourage each other in our craft. In our crafting. Linda, is that the one I use, Linda, the one for your name, or do I use Low Tide Gallery? The gallery she exhibits her art in is Low Tide. It's called Low Tide Gallery. Um, but she also sells online. Like, if you see something she posts, you can snag it up. Oh, so I guess doing it in camera would be... But you got to be fast. I'm, I'm just replacing the wood panels on the door where they came out of. Because this, okay. this was a screen. Where's our net? Is the net here today? I haven't looked at who's the lineup to see who is here. <laughs> Low Tide Gallery. That's where her artwork is right now. This, if you have a Zyron, this would be done so fast with a Zyron. But I'm all out of adhesive in my Zyron. So. Hence the glue. Um, speaking of which, if you guys want to post links, Jamie's got a blog. I think Jean's on here still. Jean has a Ustream show. Joycey has a Ustream show. So we always invite you to post your links. I don't know if Xandra's still here. Xandra, if she's not, her show on Ustream, Scraps to Beauty. I'm sure you guys all know, but, oh, she's just doing the most darling album right now. Oh, sorry. Thanks, Jamie, because my sister's not telling me. What? That I need to scooch over to the right. I was hanging no, on the left. Not. Um, sorry. Yeah, you're out of the picture. Huh. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Um, I, I can't see my screen, my computer screen, because there's a glare from my light. I don't like where my Stop light is. Stop and Abadoo also has a Ustream channel, and they have a lot of people over there. Jen Ozzybrand, who also streams on her own, but she's over there, too. So is Lindra. Several people. Who's, um, Barb's on Friday. Yeah, Barb's on Friday. I was just thinking of who's over. Oh, oh Ashley. Ashley has to stall. Scraps, but 
buttons and bows. We have enough people streaming that you can catch a stream every every day. And sometimes two or three times a day. Well, you should always check because, like, Dee Dee, she'll come in and do an impromptu. No, I'm not watching her at all. I'm sorry that you missed how to put the door and the window on. <laughs> Just Oops. glue them down. Okay, now I did the, I die cut out these, the bows and the garland. So. Jamie has YouTube, too. We have a YouTube too, but we never go out there. We just save our uh, we save our Ustream videos out there. But we really should do more with it. I mean, seriously, yeah. If you want to stay on top of it, it's like a full time job. It's fun. Hanging out with my peeps. No, I mean like posting stuff up and putting, then reminding yourself to put it over on YouTube and. Oh yeah. It's a. Linking to the blog, that's kind of a little bit of pain. So we're gonna do a bunch Not of these. Not for normal people, just for me. <laughs> How do I watch your channel on YouTube? No, I'm saying I don't do anything with ours. I'm on YouTube. We're on YouTube. We just take our Ustream shows and put them on YouTube. But you know what? I'm kind of glad we do because since they changed the Ustream app, you can't watch the recorded shows but on your phone. But if it's on YouTube, you can watch our recorded shows on your phone if you go to our YouTube channel, Scrappy Camper Sisters. Oh, that's good. So it's good that we do save them to YouTube because then you can watch it on your phone if you want to, if you're the passenger in a, on a long trip or something. I like YouTube. I do watch YouTube. I always did. You're always I mean, more of a I YouTube watcher than I was. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to just assemble this part. And I wanted red bows, so. <laughs> Barb. The boys and Barb broadcast. So what I did was you got to go in and you got to cut all of the bows off. And we're just going to go in and layer. Oh yeah, Jean, we pay for the storage so that our new streams don't go away. I bit the bullet and paid for it because I don't want my new streams to go away. So that was worth it to me. And it wasn't much, not like the broadcasting fees and everything. Tell the truth, because you were running around downloading all of our videos, and then you were like, forget this. <laughs> it was, it's like $20 a month, I think. And um, I just, well, Jean, I mean, we're, you know probably have different goals here so her goal was just, she didn't want to sit so there and download them all <laughs> when I uploaded one from Ustream to YouTube once and it didn't make it and it, it and I had no way I had no idea how to get a regular flash video file up onto YouTube without some finagling and so I mean I made it work but it was so frustrating I'm like you know they can have the $20 and then I, I have all my stuff in one place uh, yes, Diana, this is. It's the garland one. And that you get um, three different garlands on it. The bow, the bead, and the snowflake, which I don't, I don't have cut out. But it's all on one. It's the, um, what, what's the thin one called? It's the long and thin one. Die cut, die. Yeah, I used this one last year um, to put the Christmas decorations on the house, you know? And strip then. Dye. Isn't it? What? Isn't it a strip dye? Is that what they call them? I don't. I guess I could go Christmas read. Christmas garland. Isn't that the Christmas garland strip dye or something? Here I go again. It's not Hang like. On. Mute! Before you start typing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call. I'm going to name this stream Mute before you start typing. Um, I used it last year to decorate that the Christmas house with, um, but I put it on with repositionable tape so that you could take it off and you could use the house year round. 
And I did like, I didn't post any of my pictures, but I decorated my house for like 4th of July and I decorated it for, um, uh, what else did I decorate it for? Easter. Oh yeah. Like East. Yeah. I did Easter. Oh, I put a palm tree out there. <laughs> I have a palm tree without a monkey. My sister has one with a monkey on it. <laughs> I looked at my palm tree because it came to her house when I had it shipped. She's like, is there a monkey in there? I'm like, yes. <laughs> My palm tree didn't come with a monkey. Tim Holtz Christmas garland. Decorative strip dye. <laughs> hey, um, Eileen, do me a favor. Could you, would you mind measuring the passage door, the Tim Holtz dye that's the door? And would you mind measuring, giving me a measurement on that so I could see if that works for this? <clears throat> I don't, ha I don't have that one. So I don't know if you can kind of like rig it where you could cut it down. I, I don't think I've ever even actually seen it like put together. Yeah, I really like this die. I'm gonna use the um I'm gonna do a tag and I'm gonna use the snowflake part of it. Really liked it. I cut it out, I just cut the bows out of glitter paper. I didn't like glitter them myself. But I'm going to get ready to glitter them myself in a second. Although it's stickles, it's controlled glitter. So I like controlled glitter. Is, did my chat freeze? I don't think so. I think, was Eileen the last one who posted? No, nope, Carol. Okay, my chat's frozen. Okay, how's your beagle? Go? Now let me see what happens. Nope, I'm still frozen. I know. How do I reboot? How do I reboot? Just click on the chat button again. That should work, huh? No, I just did it. I just went and re tried to redo it. Great. Mm. Um. Oh, I know. Let me try to pop out. Okay, yeah, there's your link. Okay, yeah. It was because I was popped out. Now let oh, me okay. see if I pop out. Barb, you don't like controlled glitter in stickles? <laughs> I have one link of Stella Pen. I only have one also. Okay, if you pop out chat, it works. Okay, now let me see if I restore it. Oh, Barb. Barb, are you painting Santa Clauses? Yep, there it goes. Barb, are you guys putting up Santa Clauses on your um, Etsy shop this year, or are you just filling orders? No, what? It only works when I'm in the pop when I'm in pop out. That's gonna make her come back. <laughs> She'll hear me from the other side of the room. But the bad thing is, when I do pop out on Windows 8, when I release the button, it goes humongo. And then it automatically throws your pop out over where my over where I'm um, like my desk, my my video is. So, have you tried to do that yet, Darcy? What? Tried to move your um the box. Once you pop it out, no, I have not. Does it move? It moves, and then all of a sudden it goes huge and takes up your whole screen. Oh yeah, it does that if you move it to the upper right corner, but that's Windows, that's not Ustream. No, no. Yeah, no, that's the Windows 8. Yeah, 
hate that. So anyway, I just, I just, well, it's going. I can see the chat now. I had to do pop out. Every once in a while that happens. <sighs> I think it's a setting you can change though. I just haven't done it. Because it pop, because when it opens up, it automatically runs up into the left corner. But if you let it run up to the left corner, then you can't see your, you can't see like what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Wow, Barb, that's great. They did all orders this year. She only has two left from other years. Orders. I missed something when I was oh, messing. Oh, because her claws man with his hand-carved um, Santas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Barb hand paints. Yeah. They sold them all. Of course, why wouldn't they? They're gorgeous. <laughs> I'm assuming you're talking to Gabby right now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, she's next to me with her, go on. Uh, her Einstein bagel dog dog biscuit. You guys have an Einstein's bagel near you? They make um, dog biscuits, and they're whole grain and all natural, and they're they're a little bagel, and they're hard like a dog biscuit. So cute. On the door and the window, is there a number on them to buy? The door and the window that I have? A number. Yikes. Uh, like the use, use, whatever, what's that called? What's this thing called? Number. Like the, whatever, next to, uh, do you have this packaging? Still? Oh, here's the style number. The style number on the door was 831. And the size is 2.4 by 4.2. So it's style number A31. Or do you want the UPC code? Oh, the SKU. S do I do the little number here and here? Or do I just give you the big numbers in the middle? Sorry. There's a little What's it called? Classic something door. Classic screen door. This number is seven three seven three nine zero. No wait, seven three nine eight zero nine seven eight three one. Okay, Barb. Okay, Barb. Thank you. I'm really going to work. <laughs> no, I really, really, really am. And then the window is called the small Madison window. Number 816, and this is 73980, so the beginning part's the same, and then 978, that's the same, and the last two numbers are 16, so the door was 31, and the window was uh, 16 at the end. Okay, good. Glad you got it. No problem, and they're by... Poppy stamps, which did poppy stamps get taken over by memory box? I don't know. It just says poppy stamps, Inc. Seattle, Washington. Hey, Darcy. Poppystamps.com you can go to. Um, Darcy, when you go out to Seattle, you need to go see them. <laughs> go to their warehouse. Okay. Go to their... Oh, that's cool, Eileen. Thank you. Go to their warehouse. Oh, that's cool. I have not shopped in so long. I'm going to freeze. It's because you're trying to buy a glamper. I know. It's not. Yeah, that's it. It's not. It's not really that I'm on a freeze. It's just that my funds are being redirected right now. <laughs> Evidently, if you've already bought all your furniture. I mean, I'm thinking, how are you going to transport all this stuff for inside your tent, plus your tent, in your little SUV? Uh, I haven't thought that through yet. I think you need to put a pod on top of your, one of those pods, you know, that you can buy. What they, I don't know what they're called. Luggage pods that you put up on top of your car. Uh-huh. You're like, uh-huh. No, I'm serious. <laughs> no, because I'm only bringing the one bin, remember? Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> now, now it's my turn. Uh-huh. I can see you just doing it with one bin. Oh, like fast food. That's how I can. <laughs> yeah. 
And you didn't even come with a flashlight. What are you talking about? When we went camping, she didn't come with a bin or a flashlight. I'm like, how, how do you not camp with a flat without a flashlight? Look. I found somebody online, though, that had a short camping list, and I copied it. That's the one I'm going to use. Okay. It doesn't have a lot of stuff on it. Yeah. The only reason why you're going to do that is because you're going to be camping with me, and you're like, oh, John will have everything. You know, that didn't occur to me right away, but then <laughs> after I started looking at coolers, I stopped and thought about that. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> No, you're bagging your own stuff. <laughs> I was like, where am I going to put a 32-ounce cooler? I was like, hmm, maybe I don't need one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Now I'm, bringing, I'm bringing my cooler. I do, yes, I do, Carol. It has, like, um, a sleeve with cables. <clears throat> And so it's not a big deal to untie it, and then it has a zipper closure for that space. No, she's going to make me use my car. I'm just I'm just saying, because she's going to be like... Because you won't take your car off the hitch because you're afraid you won't get it back on. No, it's not that I'm afraid that I'm not going to get it back on. I got it on. I can put it on and take it off. It's just a hassle. <laughs> And I'm like, who who goes to fast get fast food when you're camping? You that's the best thing is getting to barbecue all your food. Yum. We had JJC, so we had the luxury camping experience. Yeah, because we had a personal chef with us. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a that was kind of easing our way into camping, I think. Pizza delivery, there you go. Pizza. Oh my goodness. You no, guys. I'm looking forward to it. I have a skillet. I have an electric skillet. I have a crock pot. We have, have fondue pots. We're going to do I fondue. Do. Yeah, I got fondue. The only thing where I'm kind of going to draw the line is I am not bringing dishes. I'm going to do all paper. I just can't. Even melamine. I don't want to wash. So. That is kind of one of my limits right there. Bye, Sophie. Sophie, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. We'll probably still be here when you get back. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so uh, let's see. Before I do this, I'm going to take a bunch of these little... Um... She is very talented, Sophie. If you guys get to see any of her stuff on Facebook. I'm going... Just saying. I'm going to add some pop dots to the banner. I mean, to the um, banner. To the garland. That's how I attached it. I liked it kind of up. I know. We did ease our way in with a personal show. Oh, my gosh. You know what I didn't ask, JJ, was how many days were you hurt? Whoop. Sorry. Because we know it took you four. We don't know how many days it took JJ to prepare. It took her the same. Yeah, I'm going green, Jamie. I'm doing the recycled, you know, the green, what do you call that stuff? Paper, the recycled paper. Yeah, that was interesting because that campground we went to, they didn't have recycle bins. They just had one big trash dump. So I don't know when they, I doubt that they go through it and recycle it. No, Jonna, they might have had them, but they had them down by the front, by the, I'll have to look back on their website. Or at least for glass. They might have had something. Yeah, unless they go through it. I don't think yeah, that's a good question. Oh, yes. She could. Uh, Carol said oh. you could glamp up some paper plate holders. <laughs> I, well, not only that, but I got on, um, I got on like the paper party planning sites and stuff, and they've got pretty nice patterns, too. So... It's gonna, it'll look pretty. Well, it sounds like I don't have to bring anything our next camping trip. I'm just gonna. Yeah, well, and I'm gonna use regular tape, fabric tablecloths and stuff because all that can go in the wash when you get home. You know, that's not a big deal. It's just using the hose and everything to, that just doesn't appeal to me. Using... And I think it's pretty easy to spray down a crock pot. No, you just use crock pot liners. What are you talking about? And then you just pull the liner out. You don't even have to wash anything. And you throw the liner out um, of your crock pot. Yeah, those, aren't 
those metal though? Those aren't recyclable. They're plastic. The crop they're like a plastic bag. Like the okay. baking bags, you know, but they go in your crock pot. Then you cook oh. and then all you do is like take it, tie it, and throw it in the trash. It's great. It's okay. not it's not recyclable though. Well, I guess oh. it could be if you washed it out. Jamie's not gonna be proud of you then. She's oh. really proud of me. Oh, well, okay, I'll be the bad guy. I'm not even using my crock pot. I'm using my barbecue. I'm using my grill. I'm the only person in the world that I would, that would even know about crock pot liners. <laughs> it's like I got it. I spilled water on her wood floor, and I wiped it up with a paper towel, and she looks at me and goes, did you use the wood cleaner? I didn't even know they made a wood cleaner. I'm like, no. <laughs> she asked me this spray, and sure enough on it, it says, Wood cleaner. <laughs> Wood floor cleaner. Hello. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, only you. <gasps> okay, so we're just going to... It's on the back. Cleans up water? No, it doesn't. <laughs> and other items. Let me see. i got to make sure I put that down low enough so you can see it. Yeah. Oh, Joanna, you need to get in the picture. Oh, I'm not, not in the... You're encroaching. Oh, oh just... I'm sorry. Sorry. You know what? Can you slide your chair a little, maybe? Or can you... No, yeah, it's, be... it's because I have my cup holder here. It keeps hitting my elbow. Can you move the cup holder? Yes, I can take it off. Yeah, that would be better. Or I could just move my camera over. I think my camera got actually got a little bumped. How's that? There we go. Oh, that's be better. Well... Is that better or because no? Because now they don't know how to put the door on, the window on. <laughs> well, I've got three more shots at putting on the garland. That's all. That's perfect. Do that. That's good. Okay. It's just pop dotted on there and you just kind of put it like about an eighth of an inch <laughs> below the edge. Uh, yeah. Well, I, yeah. She's like a germaphobe, but not really bad where they need to do a TV show about her or anything. Wait a minute, why am I an ocd -er? What happened to me? Because <laughs> she had kids. She had to be, like, paranoid about germs. No, I actually wasn't paranoid about germs with the kids. When did you become like that? <laughs> um, what am I ocd -er? Because I didn't want the, my floor to warp because she spilled an entire huge glass of water on my floor. Oh, now it's a huge glass. It's okay to be a germaphobe. Lots of people are germaphobes. Oh no, there we go again with the phobia. Oh, I'm not a germaphobe. Just theme. The thing is that um. Now she's gonna defend herself. I'm not gonna I defend myself. Go. Whatever. To get her going. <laughs> I'm not gonna defend myself. Not even worth it. Just say. Just say I prefer to have specific cleaners for things because then I don't have to figure out what to use every time. That's too that's many. Reason. That's too many words. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well that too. <laughs> I do not invite lizards. Thank you very much. They just But you know what? He has not he, you know, he passed away, right? I don't know if I told everybody that What'd he. You do to him? I didn't do anything. I put him outside, but he ended up passing. So. I don't think they live that long anyway, do they? Well, okay. So anyway, he's gone. He's passed away, and I have not had one since. So I know it was the same one because he had a spot on his snout. That's how I know. That's how I knew who. That's how I knew who my my lizard was. Because everybody's like, oh, you have several of them. I'm like, no, he has a spot. And That's I how close you got to him. No, I think the spot came from the paint, to be honest with you. I think uh -huh. I think I'm the trim sorry. I think the trim was uh, wet when he climbed up into the wall. Diana's and, dog just passed away. Oh. Now everyone's calling her Dina because of me. That's awful, <laughs> Dina. <laughs> Dina. <laughs> Diana. I'll have nicknames. Oh. Aww. Oh my god. I'm sorry. It is very 
hard. Try to be kind to yourself. It's awful. And you know what I did when, I know it sounds funny, but when my pet rabbit died, I was devastated because she was almost 10. So I'd had her for 10 years. And um, the Rainbow Bridge has like an online little ceremony. And I know it sounds stupid, but it was really comforting. And it was on Monday nights. And you can go to the rainbowbridge.com and it was this kind of generic, what do you call that? You, ecumenical. Eulogy? Like a eulogy? Yeah, kind of an ecumenical little service. And you pray and you can share it with other, you know, grieving pet owners. Because who else understands you? That's, I mean, you know, it's so hard. But anyway, if you, um, if you, uh, you know, find that you need some kind of closure or just want some comfort, I would highly recommend it. It helped me. Can you post a link? Yeah. I don't even know if they still do it, but I could go find it. But I couldn't do it right away because I just, I didn't stop crying for like weeks. I, I did it like maybe three weeks later. Was that for your hamster or for your bunny? No, it's for all my bunny. Hmm. But that's, you know, she was old. That was her lifespan. And the vet said <clears throat> it was going to happen sooner or later. Like, I know, but right after Christmas. Oh. January 3rd. Oh, I'm typing. Shoot. <laughs> Mute. Two of these. How do I do that? Oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. That was hard. <clears throat> Yeah, they asked me if I wanted Pearl's ashes, and I just couldn't. I just wanted to remember her the way she was alive, because I was thinking, what do I, what do I do? Like, I don't have a yard that I could ever bury her in or anything. But it was really sweet because I had to take her to an emergency clinic. She got sick at night, on a Sunday night or Monday night, and um, I won't go into all the gory details, but you know, she was, I, she clearly wasn't didn't seem to be doing very well, and um, she wasn't eating her favorite food and stuff, so I, there are very few places that treat a rabbit because they're considered an exotic pet, so I found this clinic almost an hour away, it was freezing, driving rain, and I got her up there, and, um, and they treated her, but anyway, so she passed away at home after I got her back home, but they sent me a nice card, and my vet sent me a card, and I didn't expect that, I thought that was really sweet. So they're in her, her little bunny. And, you know, that's the nice thing about what we do, because we can do albums, and we have photos, and we, you know, we capture our memories. So, and that's, that's a source of comfort, too. So, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's good. I don't want to know. Eileen, what did, what did you that's get? Strange. I'm like, I want to know, was he, <laughs> I was thinking, was he, um, taxi derby? <laughs> but they give you a nice, um, <clears throat> thing to put him in. Aww. That's nice. I'm just adding a little shadow with the, um, this is the Montana markers. They're acrylic paint, acrylic markers. Dee Dee said I was taking up graffiti when I bought these, but I liked them because they don't leak through when you're doing, when you're art journaling. <laughs> they don't go well, through. Diana, you can hang out with us today. Well, at least we'll make you laugh if nothing else. And then you can use the white, um, white marker over top, the distress marker over top of it. Oh, that is beautiful, Eileen. 
box, a heart charm, and a certificate. Aww. Aww. It's nice when some people understand, you know? It really is. I used on the original one, I used, um, oh, let me get the roof back on it right. I used, um, let me set that aside, the, the metal wreath, but I didn't have another one of those. So I'm using, I made one up out of this little mini, uh, holly garland and I'm going to stick that on the door and I'm just going to glue that on. But I want to do my I want to do my white marker now. Let's see if that's dry. I think it is. I'm just gonna kind of soften the line a little bit like this. Hey, Sharon. <laughs> now you have to oversee the, the hey, toilet Sharon. workings. Oh, she's fixing. They're working in the bathroom. Oh, okay. So I just want to kind of soften that up a little bit. It's coming off. It's okay. like after Elvis, my hamster died, and of course they don't live very long. And you get so attached, you know? You just get attached to your little fur babies. And I was just sobbing in the vet, just inconsolable. And he goes, You want a kitten? <laughs> he goes, They live a lot longer. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. Because <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I can get you a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I just hot glue that on there. I think that's nice, Eileen. I don't think it's weird. Do you know our grandmother had, um, it was actually my mother's dog. They bought a little toy Pekingese for my mom, and she was on the road singing. And so my grandmother actually ended up taking care of the dog and got very attached to her. Had her for years because those little ones live a Oh, time. I didn't know toy belonged to mom. It was like her substitute child, you know. My mother had grown up, got out of the house, had a career. And so and we have movies, childhood movies with Toy, who was still, you know, very much alive and everything when we were growing up. And then when the dog passed away, they actually had it buried in a pet cemetery with a grave and, you know, and would go visit it. I need, I need to ask mom where toys buried. I or know. Vault or something. Oh yeah, why didn't we go see? Well, mom wants to go see her friends over in Safety Heart. I guess she's got some friends. Or no, it was grandma's friends. Um, the Namiths. Really? They're still there. They're still. Uh, yeah, they're you were gonna alive. say they're still alive. Yeah, they're oh. still. Yeah. And so mom found out that they were over. They're still there. So we talked about. Oh my that's so cool. I know, taking a road trip and going over there. So, you know what? I'm going to wait to do the liquid pearls. I used the liquid pearls um, on the berry uh, garland, and then I used the stickles here. But, but I'm going to wait till the end to put those on because um, that way I won't hit them. So, I think the only thing I have left... That's cool. I didn't know they were still... I know that sounds awful, but you guys are in their 90s. I mean... Let's face it, every moment's a gift. Yeah. And, I mean, they were up there. Well, they were up there. My grandmother died in 97. They must have been younger than she was. I think they were younger. Yeah. Because even then, they didn't drive very much even then, They but they came to the, uh, to the grave because that was not far away, which was really sweet of them. Oh, yeah, now that we took her down memory lane last year. <laughs> yeah, we have to go back again this year. So I'm just adding some of these little chit-chat letters. Or words, I mean. Which I have to kind of... All my stickers aren't working today. I think it's just because it's cold. It's cold. It's colder in my house than it is outside, which is really odd because it was cold last night. And that's just kind of how the weather rolls here in Florida. Mm -hmm. 
Like one minute it's hot, one minute it's cold. You just have to dress in layers when you come visit. I'm telling you what, Jonna, those bagel dog things, those are good for like an hour. <laughs> Oliver wouldn't even eat it. He would bury it in the house somewhere. It, I'd find it when I was like cleaning the baseboards or whatever. He's so funny. He hid his, he's got these little bull wrinkles that he likes, you know? So he took it and I'm like, um, I'm vacuuming my bedroom <laughs> and I come to the, I put, you know, I close the door to vacuum behind the door and he hid it, which is like such an obvious place. Like you can see it. Like I can't see it. Like thinking I couldn't see it, but he hid it under the door stopper. You know, just the little spring stoppers? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Isn't that That's funny? It's a terrible hiding place. I know. Well, it's not even a hiding place. That's funny. Maybe he wanted you to find that one. So he's putting you off the rest of his stash. Maybe. I don't know. Um, festival, holiday, festive holiday greetings, I think I'll do. Oh yeah, probably, Jean. When northerners come down here, they'll go swimming in unheated pools in the wintertime here. No, it does. Cold, it does. It gets cold. And you know what? The weather has changed significantly over the years because it is stinking hot in the summer and it actually gets cold in the winter and I don't remember it ever getting that cold but especially North Florida it's hard to see if this is on straight when I have it laying down Hold on. that's a cute little wreath oh I just made it I found this little um you know I know uh, ideology has some, but I just found this mini holly garland one year. I don't even know where I got it, but it's like little mini holly leaves. They're so cute. They're so tiny. So I don't even, I don't even know who makes it, but I just, I found it in my Christmas stash. So, and I didn't have another one of those little metal wreaths. So it works. It's a little big for the door. I guess I could have made it a little smaller. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, looks a little big for the door. I need like a little, I have to tie a little bow, put it at the top or something. Oh, I guess I could use one of these. Yeah, it's finally starting to warm up here. I have the shades open so the sun's coming in because it was like, oh, not that one. I'll just cut one of these out and stick it on the door. Well, I just took Oliver outside on my little break. That's the other thing I had to go do. And um, when I walked outside, oh, there was a package from mom. I have no idea. She sent us something. Um, I think I'm going to use a pop dot. In the mail for Christmas. But it's like really long and narrow. So I don't know. I don't have any idea what it is. Well, she, it probably wasn't going to fit in her suitcase. No, it wouldn't fit in her suitcase. But it was, that was at the door, so the UPS man or it's FedEx a guy. tent pole! FedEx guy came. A tent pole. A tent pole. Skis? I don't know. So, I'm going to just stick that on there. How's that look? That is looking at the front. Yeah, that's cute. It does look cute. I love this plaid. I was going to do the wood on the front, but then after I got the plaid on there, I was like, I really like the plaid. It's very cute. Eileen thinks it's a cane to beat up the lizards, Jonna. I think so. Thanks, Eileen. Yeah, or a flag. Or okay, something. maybe I ought to do just a regular real bow. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Well, I'll leave it on there for now. Okay, so that's the front of that. What do you want to do on the side now? is we're going to install the lantern. Oh no, that's right. Look at these I found. I found these at Hobby Lobby. Are these not like the cutest? They're like, um, what are these things? Like deer heads that you put on the wall? 
but I thought it looked so cute over top of the door. <laughs> Aren't they cute? I guess they're, I don't understand because they've got like little holes on the side. Well, they've got a lot of holes on the side, so I don't know what you actually use them for. Deer charms with gems. Oh, I guess they're some kind of charm. But I just thought it'd be so cute to put it over top of the door. Let me see. Does that look too big for the si the size? I don't know. I may have to put it on a tag. That might be too big for the like, scale size. Scale? No. I think it'll fit. I think it'll look cute. Anyway, I'm thinking about that right there. Or I could put it over the wreath. I like that even better. Okay, let me pull this off. I think I like it on the door on the wreath. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Are you back? Hello. I think I like it on the wreath. That's cute. Yeah, big buck. Put a crescent moon on the side. Oh my gosh. A maple. I have a fishing pole for the shanty. You didn't see the fishing pole on there? The blue weed leaves and the guy's wet, so I don't know. Oh, okay. All right, I'm putting the buck on the thing. There's one right here. We're getting ready to make that. That's the fishing pole. So, hang on one second. We're going to do this part. We're going to put that on there. I know. I like the buck on the wreath, too. It's really cute. So we're going to hang. We're going to, you need a, um, and. What? Stag. You need an eye hook. What's the difference between a stag and a buck? Uh, <laughs> good question. Somebody Google it. <laughs> I don't know. So you need a little eye screw. Okay. It looks like this. Has a hole. These were actually by spare parts. They're bigger um, than the than the ideology ones. So I'm going to wait to put on the buck till after when I do the stickles and stuff. But what you want to do is you want to come in and you're just going to um, use your uh, paper piercer. Which I had, I had out. Hey, John. Yes. A stag is a male elk, and a buck is a male deer. Oh, a stag is an elk. Did not know that. Okay, so I want to kind of put it down where it's going to be down by the door. So I'm just going to come in to, right into the chipboard, and I'm just going to do a little hole, poke a hole with my paper piercer. And then I'm going to take my, um, before you put it in there, you want to take your pliers and you want to get this open because you want to, you got to put it on your, you got to slip the wire in. So whenever you do an eye hook, I mean, whenever you do, a, it's just like doing a jump ring where you twist one away from the other, you twist and pull. Um... gonna twist it these are kind of tough man there so you want to get an opening then you're gonna take the little lantern if you don't want to have if you can't get one of these they make these little mini ones I actually got it for the camp camper because I'm working on our camper right now making it Christmassy but um and I'll post pictures of my camper when I get it all decorated for Christmas I found, I don't know where what I did with it though. I found the little red lantern miniature. It's so cute. Here it is. Look at this. This little camping lantern by Mayberry Street Miniatures. Look at that. So I'm going to add this to my, to my camper. We have a lot of cute things. So. Yeah, that's my. 
I never find it again until the vacuum cleaner sucks it up. Oh my gosh. Okay, so once you have that, once you open that, then you're just going to slip the lantern onto it like that. All right. And then this is going to get screwed right into the side of the ice shanty. So once you put the lantern, hook the lantern on it, and these you can actually pick up at a hardware store. You don't even have to like buy the ones at the hobby store. And you can just push it back together, just like an eye hook. I mean, just like a um, jump ring. And then we're going to take it and we're just going to screw it into the side of the shanty. Now, when you do this, you have your choice of um, cutting it off on the inside or you can just leave it. I left mine because... I'm not going to be sticking my hand down in there. And it doesn't really get in the way of the tags. So just kind of screw it around until and it'll screw right into the chipboard for you. And that's what you can hang. Hangs right off of there. Just like that. And then I just, because it was brown, I didn't, you could drill a hole, you could put a hole in the side and run this through. But it doesn't get in the way of the roof line. So I just took it and ran it up into the house. So this is all I did. I just took it and I ran it up into the house like that. Um, I think I have to screw it around one more time. Hey, hey. I, I, I keep getting kicked out. I'm just trying to clear out my cash. Okay. Oh, is that the problem? It's your cache. So then it hangs down like that. And you have the little lantern, and then you have to put batteries in it. <laughs> just FYI, you need to put batteries in it. And then you just put these in here, and it turns on. And then, you know, you're just going to put it down into the house. It doesn't get in the way of the tags. If you are, like, crazy about it, um, you could always drill a hole in the side and... Uh, run the wire through but you have to drill a hole that's like that wide so that's up to you you can do whatever you want but it didn't bother me running the wire up the side because from the front you don't really even see it that much um and then after a while it's kind of straightened out and it's brown like the root like the side of the house and it hides behind the garland so pretty good pretty cute okay Fun, Brenda. So that's that. Um, all right. So now, um, what else do I have to do? <laughs> I'm going to wait on the stickles. Um, we have to make the fishing pole. And then put it on the base. And then just stickle it. And we're done. Any questions so far? Bye, Lynn. Hugs. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you how to do the fishing pole. The fishing pole is a bamboo skewer. Uh, it's in my box. Same on thing. Sorry about the noise. It's down in my box. I'm using the Warm and Cozy line by Cartabella for this one. The other one, it was called Pine Street, and I got it at Hobby Lobby. Just because I worked on, I made the ice shanty like about two months ago, and that was the only Christmas line that was out at the time. Um, and I, I had wood, and I couldn't get the, uh, the Taser Craft made a cute one. I would have liked to have gotten that one too, but I didn't get a hold of that one. The base coat Christmas, really pretty line. Okay, so you're going to take the bamboo skewer and we're just going to kind of measure down um, just like about four and a half or so. And then you're just going to take it and you're just going to cut it off. I want to use safety goggles or I just shoot it down into my trash can. Then I took um, a walnut ink 
And I just, or you could use pinks. Um, whatever. I need to get her, I need to re-ink this pad. My walnut ink's really dry because I think it was like one of the first ones that I, <laughs> one of the first ones that I ever bought was the walnut ink. It's amazing. I have never re-inked any of my pads and it's amazing how they still stayed with stuff on it. Okay, so I'm not going to do the, <clears throat> the bottom of my pole because I want to um, put tape on it and the tape won't stick. I know I want to, um, when my mom comes, I'm probably going to find something for her to knit for me. So this is just, I don't even know who makes it to be honest with you. I don't even know where I got it. I've just had it. It's like wood washi tape. So I wanted to do like a wood handle, like a little handle at the bottom. Um, you could probably use wood paper would work like any some of this because um, this line had wood paper You could use that wind it around. I just keep rolling until I get a little bit of a thickness So it just looks kind of you know, it looks like a little handle at the bottom So just kind of wind it around Till you get the thickness that you want A little wood handle I was really tempted to buy, um, they, I saw where I bought that little red lantern. They had, the, they had a fishing pole. It was really cute. Go crazy. But I thought, no, I'll just make one. Okay. So there's the handle. And then what you want to do is um be careful um, this comes with a precursor <laughs> because you are working with something sharp and what you're going to do is right at the top of your bamboo skewer you are going to just cut a slit all right so take it i should be on some kind of cutting board but i'm not um and then you got a slit in the end of your bamboo skewer where's the cutting nut so nobody freaks out so I'm not like cutting myself you just want to cut a little slit down in the end because all you're gonna do is I have about a foot just because easier for me to work with and I'm just gonna make a slip knot at the end like a little knot not a slip knot but a knot you don't need anything like really huge at the end it'll just grab then you find your slit and you're just going to go across and catch it. Catch the slit on the top of the pole. Then once you catch the slit on the top of the pole, hold the knot and you're just going to start to pull it down and pull it to the knot and that holds it. And then you can cut off the extra. Okay, seriously, I need to re -gunk. I need to ungunk my scissors because they're not cutting. And then you just kind of let it, I just kind of let it hang down. This is like, um, this is heavy, this actually is vintage, some kind of, it feels like, like you sew button, button, buttons on your coat. So it's like a little heavier thread. I don't know, Barb could probably answer what kind of thread that is, but it's a thicker, it's not, well, I don't know, it's kind of feels like it might have a waxy feeling on it, but if I was going to sew a coat button on, this is the thread that I would use. It's vintage. I got it out of like a vintage sewing kit that I bought. Um, so I don't recommend actually sewing probably something on with it because it may not hold. I'm sure over time it has rotted. But anyway, I need to cut that a little bit shorter. Okay, so then you have your fishing pole. That's it. 
and then I'm going to put that on the bottom. Okay, so now I have some excess thread. What I want to do is I found these. I thought this was so cute. They're by Paper Studio, but you get two sheets of them, and they just happen to be opposites. So the two sheets are opposite fish. And I wanted to put fish on my ice fishing house. So you can take the stickers off, and you can sandwich the thread in between the stickers. Oh, it is called button thread. Okay, thank you. And then just have the thread come out of the mouth of the fish. I was so I was so excited when I saw this. Okay, which fish am I using? Wait, it's the fish on that side. So, wait, no, I grabbed the wrong one. Wait a minute. There should be a posing fish. That's the same fish. I want a posing fish. There it is. So then you just sandwich the thread in between the two fish stickers. Ah, oh, didn't line that up perfectly. Need to move it over just a little bit. Okay, there it goes. Look how cute! So then you have your fish hanging off the thread. And then we'll do another little. Okay, so decide on how long you want it because I'm going to put another. Um, little eye hook in so we can hang the fish kind of off this another little eye hook and so you just kind of want to determine how long you want it and then we're just going to cut it off and we're going to do the same thing on the other end of the thread so try to find fish stickers that have opposing fish like the same fish that are opposing each other that way you can um, do this, or you could always put it on, I guess sandwich it in between chipboard, then you'd only have a one-sided fish, but I think the two-sided fish is so cute. I'll never forget the year I went to, when I went to Denmark, and I, they, they were big hunters, I didn't know it. And they live out on a big 300 acre farm. And so it was, I just gotten in off the plane and got dropped off at the house. And I walk up to the door and hanging off the hook. Oh, I was like freaking out. There was like a deer and a giant hare, a big rabbit. Like it was huge. And a couple of pheasants and a duck. And they, um, I mean, it's like no biggie. They just sit there and they just let them hang outside. You know, of course it was like dead of winter. So it was freezing outside. So that's what they do. I guess I don't know why they hang them at the door. And I was like freaking out. I had to go up to the door and here's all these like dead animals hanging there. I mean, they do eat them. That's their food. So, uh, but still I was like, couldn't you hang it at the back door? <laughs> So it's kind of freaking me out. Okay. Isn't this cute? So now you got them hanging there. So we'll just hang them from the hook. I'm going to put another little eye hook in here. Take my paper piercer. I want to kind of see where the, where's my, this. So I'm going to have this here and then right off the side, maybe off the front, I want to put this one. I'm just going to kind of hang the little eye hook at the top on the front let me get an eye hook out real quick Blech. oh is that why they hang it 
That'd be nasty. I, I just, I couldn't handle that. So I came home one night and the girls that were staying in the house, they had some girls that were students and they were renting one of the, one of the rooms in the house. So I came home and they're sitting there and they're, and they're like D doing the, D doing, <laughs> they're like taking the feathers off the pheasants. And I turn around and one of the boys in the house thought it was funny. So he puts the pheasant head on his finger and he's doing like a puppet show from behind the wall. I'm like, okay, this is only teenage boys. I'm like, ah, this is so gross. And so, but I knew if I like freaked out about it, they would make, you know, they would go off on it and they would just like chase me around and stuff. So I, I, I just kind of like laughed it off and acted like it didn't even bother me, but I was like freaking out. So I want to put it, I'm just going to put it on that little eye hook here. I don't know. I may have to open that. That one looks like it's kind of sealed. This, the smaller size is um, actually the ideology ones. So I'm just going to open it a little bit. Yeah, it's cold outside. So that's like their freezer. I guess it make you know freezes it or whatever i, I don't know <laughs> anyway it wasn't for me but kind of freaked me out but when the kid was running around with the with the head of the pheasant on his finger that was just but the girls are just sitting there like pulling the feathers off like it's no big deal they're just and they're just like gunning it and i'm just like Ooh, i think i need to go for a walk came home a little early so i had the girl i'm like next time you do that please uh Please tell me so that I don't come home when you're doing that. She was just laughing. All right. So I'm just going to do the same thing I did for the lantern. I'm just going to screw it right into the chipboard. So you got your little dangly fish on there and then we'll put the um, little fishing pole on the base. Okay, so now all we have to do is cover the base and then we will, um, I'm going to cover the base. You're just going to wrap it. Really simple. Okay, where'd my sister go? Oh, she's typing. Anybody see my score tape? Did it fall on the floor? Oh, here it is. I don't need the cutting mat anymore. So is anybody making this alongside of me? Does in, I know a couple of people. Um, tweeted me. When I posted the cutting guide up on our blog. Oh, that's the other announcement. You might want to grab, you want to grab the PDF and you want to grab the cutting guide um, so that you can make this. Or, you know, in case you ever want to make it. Maybe one year, maybe you don't want to make it this year, but maybe a couple years from now you'd be like, oh, that's a great, yeah, great thing to make. Joycey's doing her bells. Oh my gosh, Joycey, your stream was so hysterical. The other day, I mean, <laughs> oh, I was laughing so hard. Leave it up for the weekend. Okay. 
I'm going to leave it up for the weekend. Has anybody tried making this Paula Snow? Uh, Paula Snowball yet? They're so cute. Um, if you go to one one lucky day net on her blog, Paula Cheney did a um, tutorial for the little snowballs. If anybody wants to make snowballs for any of your projects, I don't know if you're making Laura Denison's any of her houses or um, fairy houses, Christmas fairy houses or Christmas maple maple street shops. So I'm just going to center that. Oh, this is what I wanted to show you because this paper is the, this paper, this is from the other line. This was from um, the Hobby Lobby brand that I got. And, but I wanted to show you because it's, I don't know if you can see it because I don't have light up by the camera. Where's the camera? If you can see it has texture. It's like textured paper. So it's nice. It's kind of like the linen weave. So it's a little bit thicker than their normal paper that they usually have in their pads. And that's why I bought it. Because their normal pads are good for like collaging because they're thin if you like to do collaging. Um, but this is a little thicker if you want to actually do like construction pieces. So I'm going to go around and do my tape on the edges. She was so cute because she ended up, Paula ended up tweeting uh, Mr. Holtz. He ended up, she ended up tweeting Tim about her making snowballs and her little Christmas tree was cute on the box. Great. It was a good way of using up your config, extra configuration boxes if you have any. So I'm going to go in, I always use, seems like I always use the same depth chipboard. So I just put a dot on my corner. And so I know that is the corner that I need to line up and I go right to it. Now I need my cutting, a little cutting mat back out of there. I think my, my cap, I put, I unfortunately put my, uh, three in one glue in the little holder that I have like my sharps in it and it the cap kind of leaked open and so um, all all of my caps on everything and some of my tools are stuck down in the bottom of the holder I haven't had a chance to clean it because I usually keep the cap on my on my sharp stuff I wouldn't want to get in trouble with Barb for having my sharps out without covering my sharps up. Right? So anyway, that makes it easier if you put a dot on the corner. You always use the same chipboard. I do. I know. Well, because people were tweeting me going, oh, I want to make this, I want to make the snowball. And I was like, how do you make the snowballs? And I, yeah, I didn't think it was right because it was her class and her idea. Okay, so, um, I've been, <laughs> I've been tweeting. I've been going through withdrawal. Fortunately, I've been really busy the last couple of days, so I haven't had a chance to sit down the last two days. But, um, okay, good, good, Joycey. Um, but I've been, like, really into it, and I don't recommend starting it because at first I thought, what is the big deal? Everybody was always talking about Downton Abbey, and I'm like, I don't really like dry humor. I'm not a dry humor person. So if you have, like, dries, dry humor um I don't catch it and I kind of like 
So I'm sorry if you are one of those people that have like a really dry sense of humor. I just don't get it right away. And like, I will we'll laugh about it later on that night. So I wasn't really crazy about watching, watching this thing, but I got addicted and I was four seasons. I had to, I had to, um, catch up on four seasons because the fifth was coming out in January. Well, I thought, okay. So I kind of sat down, figured out how long I had a couple of weeks before the fifth season came out. I kind of divided it up by the day, how many episodes to watch. Well, that didn't work because once I got into it and I knew I could access the other seasons, I went crazy. So I just sat and watched all four seasons <laughs> in a week and I sat and I did, um, I did everything I could. Like I unpacked some boxes. I decorated my house, everything I could do that had the that I could have the TV going. I did my laundry. I reorganized my cabinets. I mean, oh gosh. I mean, you have no sense of humor at all. Oh, come on. So I was just like, I got so addicted to that show. Oh my goodness. So I don't recommend it unless you have a lot of time. I got so addicted. It was awful. I felt so guilty. I don't watch television, so really I didn't feel all that guilty. But the fact that I watched that much of it I was, in that short of a time, I did kind of feel a little bad. But I was working while I was watching it. It wasn't like I was just sitting there vegging. CDD. Hey, Dixie. I know. I just love it. And I didn't see what all the big fuss was at first. And I just was like, I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to like it. But then I, I think the part I liked about it, I really enjoy history and period things. So I think that's how come I liked it because it was fun watching like the fashion and like it ended up judging like a bunch of, had a history lesson every time. Cause I wanted to know they, at the beginning they were talking about, um, Oh, what was going around that everybody got sick. What was the thing they had? Not cholera. But there was a sickness that was killing people. Not the Black Death. Yeah, we made snow. We made snow in our boxes. I don't know if you saw that. But in those little boxes, we made snow. So, but anyway, um, we... We ended up, okay, now I'm putting the ice on. This is just like glitter paper. Wait a minute. And I just cut it the same size. So now all your ends are nicely wrapped like that. So now you have a nice icy background. Oh, oh shoot. Dee Dee, Dixie. What was the disease they all got? So I ended up like Googling it because I wanted to find out how long they were going to have this storyline go for. Like how long one of the characters, Matthew, he was at war. And oh, it was the war. That's what it was. So I was like, well, I ended up Googling the sickness too. But I ended up um, going on to find out how long World War I lasted because they were showing the time. They would show the time, like the timeline kind of. They'd flash like February 1926 or something like that. And so I was like, or 1912 or whatever year it was. And I was like, oh my gosh, how long was the, how long did the war last? Like how, you know, nine more months. Okay. All they have to do is live nine more months. <laughs> it was awful. I got so into it. I was like really into it. Okay. So now what we're going to do, you have the base. So now prior to making the base, you know, we put the tabs on, right? So the little, um, reinforcement strips. Well, this is what holds your house down. So we're just going to take off the, uh, the score tape or double adhesive that's like a, you know, a little covering. I'm just taking that off all four sides. I already had pre-mitered the corners on two sides and you're just going to fold that in, fold this side in just so they get attached there, right? And I'm going to, even though I do have this, the double adhesive tape down, I'm going to, um, use uh, liquid glue also I want to make because it's glitter and there's like different you know bumps different heights in the glitter and the paper and I want to make sure that it gets really stuck down so I'm just going to um, let's see 
I'll probably use three and one since it might take a little while to dry. I don't even know if I, this is what I ended up leaving upside down. And I don't know, I'm gonna have to wait till it kind of drops down. Is it time for another giveaway? I'll glue this and then we'll do a giveaway. No, it wasn't tuberculosis. But I just thought, it, I thought the medical stuff was really interesting because remember the cook ended up having to like have cataract surgery. They talked about cataract surgery. They talked about like just uh, and then some of the torture that was in the charlatans that were around back then doing like when the guy had that had the limp and he had to wear that he wore that brace and it was cutting into his knee and it was just like not something that actually it worked like to he needed to lengthen out his leg that he was injured from the war previous and it didn't end up working so I thought that was kind of interesting okay well this is going to take a little while Oh my gosh, Eileen, you're so funny. Rich American girls were going over there to marry men with a title and rescue their estate. Oh. No, it wasn't measles. No, it wasn't ring around the rosy. <sighs> I'll think of it. It wasn't the plague. It wasn't Black Death. Oh my gosh. Anyway, okay, it's coming out. Oh, so if you had money, you'd go over there and rescue the estate, marry the men, and then that gave you a title. Very interesting. That is interesting. Is this coming down the chute yet? Oh my goodness, this is like really. Seriously. It's taking a long time to go down to the end of the bottle. No, it wasn't polio. It wasn't smallpox. Ah. Uh, can, was it consumption? Anyway. Some people died from it and some people lived. And they said it was a it, it attacked at the first go round, it attacked um uh the only people dying were young people and And then the, then it came around the second time. Oh, it was the Spanish flu. Yes, thank you, Janet. Yes, it was the Spanish flu. That was it. Thank you, Brenda. Uh, it came to me right before I saw it. You type it in. Spanish flu. Because it came around twice. But it actually wasn't Spanish. I don't know how they ended up calling it the Spanish flu, but it wasn't. But anyway, it took, yep, it was a pandemic. And so what happened was it actually took um, certain people's lives first before it got to the, and then when it made its second round, it ended up taking the young and the old. So. That was it. Spanish flu. So I thought that was pretty, I thought that was pretty fascinating. Like looking up his, historically things. And also like, 
the other thing they would do on there that was really interesting was, you know, to see like when the first telephone came out, like to see the te technological age kind of, because there's so much came out in technology during that era that they're filming it in. It was just fascinating. Besides the fashion was like really interesting because it's kind of like, you know, uh, at the turn of the century and when they were still like wearing corsets and the big gowns and then they went down and started wearing like more flapper style with the drop waist and it, uh, they weren't really wearing the corsets anymore. It's fascinating. Tuberculosis was the Spanish flu? No. Was it really? I thought those were two different things. Okay, so um, now I'm just going to kind of center it and press it down inside. Making sure all the flaps go down. And it's centered. And then I'm going to set this aside. This is where you kind of want to put the roof back on because uh, it'll help you kind of get it squared off. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, now I'm sounding like Darcy, but I really think this project's so darling. It's really cute. Is it three o'clock already? Oh my goodness. No, it wasn't Matthew's wife that died. Matthew was married to Mary. It was um, Thomas's wife. But I don't, we shouldn't tell that because then people won't know. <laughs> oh, that's where the Grim Reaper came from? Very interesting. It, I think when you put it on the base, it like just, and you put, start putting it together, it just looks really cute. With the little fish. Okay, so now that I got to glue my, um, now that I got that on, I have to glue, and then we're, we'll take a little break, and I'll go get my uh, Fun Journey Stampers um, stamp that I'm going to give away, and I did not know tuberculosis. Oh, it was the same as consumption. Oh, I didn't even know that it was the same as consumption. Huh. I'm just going to, uh, let me put some glue on the bottom of the fishing pole. Put that there. I like the three in one for some stuff because the three in one tends to, um, it tends to grab a little bit faster than the other glues. So, okay, I'm just going to lean that there while that's drying. Then I'm going to plug my hot glue gun in because I am going to use the hot glue gun. You could use the three-in-one if you want to, but to do the, um, I'm going to put the tinsel around. Ah, my thumb stuck to the top. So I stuck that there. Where's the hole for the outhouse? I know. I guess you could just drill one down in the ice. In the ice. <laughs> and then I was like, do I cover the bottom with, do I cover the bottom with paper? And I'm like, no, you sit inside. They drill the hole down in the ice house. Like, and they fish in through the bottom of their ice house. Exactly. Okay, Eileen. All right, so I'm going to set that aside while it's drying. And while that's drying, I'm going to turn my hot glue gun on. I will be right back. i got to go run and get my Fun Stampers Journey stamp. And I'm going to turn the recording off for a minute, but I'll keep the broadcast going. So I'll be back with part three. <laughs> 